forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who by your ineffable mercy have been pleased through the labors of your priest, St. Hunapo Serra, to count many American people within your church, grant by his intercession that we may so join our hearts to you in love as to carry, away, carry always and everywhere before all peoples the image of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feast, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water, and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response? To the upright... I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people, and I will speak, Israel. I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. For mine are all the animals of the forest, beasts by the thousands on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you, for mine are the world in its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. The Father willed that willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his kingdom. When Jesus came to the territory of Gadardines, two demonics who were coming from the tombs, met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, if you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea, where they drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what happened with, to the demonics. 
Thereupon the whole t town came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. Gospel of the Lord. To piggyback on Deacon Tom's quote from his homily on Sunday, right? In the end, there's going to be two types of people. And you hear the quote from C.S. Lewis that he, he gave us. In the end, there's going to be two types of people. Those who say to God, thy will be done. And those who God says to them, thy will be done. My brothers and sisters, the door to hell locks from the inside. We, we put ourselves there. We choose to go there, we choose, we, God tells us, okay, thy will be done. Like he did with these, those two demonics, like those, those demons that were infesting those people. They said, hey, send us into this. He said, okay, go on then. You, you chose this. Christ didn't say, I'm going to send you into that. He said, go on then. My brothers and sisters, he says the same thing to us. He gives us that free choice. We choose where we're going to go and what we're going to do. We have that power. He's given it to no other creature in this, on this earth except for human beings. Why would he do that? Because he loves you. Because he loves you and he wants you to freely be able to choose to love him. He cherishes you so much that he wants nothing more than for you out of the, the goodness, out of the, the purity of your own heart to love him back. So what are you going to choose? Because you have that choice, right? And, and you can choose where you're going to go. You might be thinking to yourself, oh, that, that sounds great, Father, but how do I love God back? What do I do? You love your neighbor. You love that person next to you that drives you up a wall. I, uh, right, right. <laughs> they looked at each other right here. They, uh. <laughs> you love, you love that, that, that political figure who says the dumbest stuff on the planet. You love that mob of people who are rioting in the streets. You love them by praying for them, by offering them to God. You love them by, by not necessarily telling them what they're doing is okay, but that trying to understand their point of view and calling them to peace. Calling them to calmness and peace and rational discussion. Today we're celebrating the, the feast of St. Hunapo Sarah. You, you may have heard his name in the news here lately because several of his statues were torn down out in California. What was his great crime? He converted people to Catholicism. He set up missions across California. There's like 17 or 18 or 12, right? Yeah, 12 missions that he established across the, uh, on the coast of California where he, he traveled up set, setting up these missions. He was a Franciscan. And he, he, he was a missionary. And he convert, pretty much converted California. Uh, why do you think it's called San Francisco? Because Juno Pesero went there and he was a Franciscan, so they called it San Francisco. My brothers and sisters, acts of, acts of violence and anger and frustration like that do no one good. All they do is close people's minds, builds, builds walls and sets up barriers. We need to love even though people are doing things that we disagree with. We need to love and reach out. No matter how many times our hand gets smacked away, 
we need to continue to stretch it out. Because that's how we love God. That's how we love our neighbor. It's incredibly difficult. I understand that. So does he. And he's here with us. Asking you to trust him. Asking you where you want to go. Asking you who you want to be like. A pack of swine or him. Please stand with me now as we offer God our prayers and our petitions. For all Christians that we die to sin and live for God in Christ Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For governors and lawmakers that they respect freedom of religion in all their votes and decisions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For travelers and summer vacationers that they make time for Sunday Mass and daily prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, as we prepare to celebrate Independence Day, that we be thankful for all who have given service to keep our country free, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, as children of light, that we strive to follow the bright light of truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Marty Esbolt, who is being especially remembered at this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. For a generous increase in vocations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We offer all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer Almighty God on the feast day of Blessed Hunupo Sarah, and grant that we, who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion, may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For, through, for on the festival of St. Hunapasera, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her 
by the words by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I will pasture my sheep, I myself will give them rest, says the Lord.
Das wird ich dir mal lieben, dass ich für dich alles liebe, dass ich dich alles liebe. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith by which blessed Hunaposera never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Peace be to God. Please say with me now the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wisdom and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. 